Welcome, I'm Daniel Bösch and in this video I will show you the dry kneading technique of the tibialis anterior muscle. Trigger points in the tibialis anterior muscle refer pain in the anterior side of the lower leg, the dorsum of the foot and the dorsum of the big toe. The landmarks are the anterior border of the tibia and the base of the first metatarsal bone. Precautions when needling the tibialis anterior muscle are the anterior tibial artery and veins and the deep peroneal nerve. Dry needling of the tibialis anterior muscle is done with the patient in supine position. These are the landmarks. The anterior border of the tibia and the base of the first metatarsal bone. The potential precautions include the deep peroneal nerve and the anterior tibial artery and veins. These structures are deep in the anterior compartment of the lower leg, just in front of the interosseous membrane. Bleeding of these vessels could result in a compartment syndrome, therefore you have to be very careful. Intramuscular needling is only recommended along the frontal plane from lateral towards the tibia. Never needle in a posterior direction. Like that you can avoid the deep peroneal nerve and the anterior tibial artery and veins. To even increase the safety, only needle in the anterior two-thirds of the muscle. In addition, press the muscle belly towards the tibia. I have seen in my ultrasound applications that this increases the distance to the vessels. Prepare a 3 to 5 cm needle. Palpate the muscle for trigger points with a flat grip against the tibia. Then disinfect the skin. If you have a patient with pain on the anterior side of the lower leg, then you definitely have to check the tibialis anterior muscle for trigger points. Trigger points here are very common, for example in patients with periostitis and shin splint. Trigger points are often located in the upper half of the muscle. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our website.